Hi, it's Tony Robbins. Listen, it's no secret that we're in an economic winter right now. What I mean by that is everything in life works in cycles, right? There's times when you're in the springtime of your life. You know what that's like, where everything seems to be going your way. You're working hard, but you're growing like crazy and things are really looking up. Then there's those hot summers. We're well, still working like crazy, but you're like, where's the crop? Where's my reward for all this stuff? And if you're strong enough and you've got a strong enough psychology and work ethic, you push through that and you eventually get to the place where you start to reap. The fall, the autumn, if you will. Well, reaping feels really wonderful, but it doesn't go on forever. We go through the next season, of course, which is winter time. That's where, like now, you might be working harder than you ever have, but you seem to be getting less of a return for your time, your energy, and your effort. Winter doesn't go away instantly, and winter doesn't last forever. When we make it through this economic winter, we'll be on to another set of opportunities in our lives. The question is, what do you do with winter? Some people give up. Some people just get overwhelmed. Some people just allow themselves to be decimated by it. You know, winter time is some people's favorite season. Some people freeze to death. Other people kind of snowboard or ski. Metaphorically, with this economy, you've got to decide what you're going to do. Are you going to take care of your family and find a way to get stronger, or are you going to get weaker? Historically, in just even companies, you look at little companies that became giant companies, the Fortune 500, 65% of that Fortune 500 started their businesses literally in a recession or a depression. Whether it's two guys, you know, starting there in Northern California, one selling his scientific calculator and the other one selling his VW bus to create something called Apple or Microsoft or Disney or Forbes or Fortune themselves. All these companies started in a recession or depression because if you make it during this time, you'll dominate long term. The secrets, though, to doing well are 80% of shifting your psychology and 20% the mechanics, like what do I do? Lots of people know what to do, but they don't do it. And just because they've allowed the environment to take away their passion, their energy, their focus, and frankly, their will. If you're one of those people that doesn't want to just sit around and talk about the economy, but want to take control of your own life and take it to the next level, then join me for the National Achievers Conference and a group of extraordinary people to show you what do you do to go from where you are to where you want to be, even in this economy. I hope I'll see you there. If you're a person that wants to take things to the next level, we'll have a great time. And most importantly, when you leave, you'll have a plan and a strategy of what to do. All the best to you. Live strong and live with passion. I look forward to seeing you at the National Achievers Conference. It's going to be amazing. Over the years, I've become known for a lot of different things. I think the word success has something to do with it. I do different elements, different businesses, and the word success always has to be there. Whether it's real estate, where I've done very well, The Apprentice and Celebrity Apprentice, which became a top show on television, the Miss Universe pageant and Miss USA pageant are writing books. I have fun. I love to do what I do. We're going to be talking about winning. We're going to be talking about success. We're going to be talking about how to avoid failure. Lots of other things. It's going to be an unbelievable session. We'll be bringing others in also who have experience. So this is something I really look forward to doing. Let's see who does the best.